நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் என்ன ஒரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் ப்ராட் பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டேமல் வீடியோ of a renowned astrologer Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. The link of the original version that is the Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. This is astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In my last video I explained the effects of sun in 12 different houses for the native of Aquarius ascendant. In this video, I am going to explain the effects of sun in different houses for the native of Pisces. For the native of Pisces ascendant, sun is the lord of 6th house. 6th house, needless to say, it is a house that delivers all bad effects and unfavorable results. For the native of Pisces ascendant, The Lord of 6th house is a friendly planet to the Ascendant Lord that is Ascendant Lord Jupiter. The Ascendant Lord Jupiter and 6th house Lord Sun are mutual friends. So you have to be very keen while predicting. Though Sun belongs to Jupiter team, it is a planet which is a functional malefic to the native of Pisces Ascendant. When sun resides in ascendant house that is in Pisces it is not considered to be favorable you have to predict based on the concept that 6th house lord is in the ascendant house however as per bhavad bhavam it is in the 8th house to its own house leo when it resides in pisces this is not a good position Though sun resides in a Subhatva house, since house lord is Jupiter, for the native of Pisces ascendant, when sun resides in ascendant itself, it is not considered to be good. If sun resides in ascendant house itself, then ascendant lord must be stronger than sun. Or there should be some Subhatva in the Lagna. The 6th house definitely should not be Pabatva. So you have to check all these factors when sun resides in Pisces, which is an ascendant house. First point, you have to check whether ascendant lord is stronger than the sun, Subhatva of the ascendant house, Subhatva or Pabatva of the 6th house. When sun resides in 2nd house, that is in Aries, it gets exalted and this position is not considered to be favorable at all. When 6th house lord gets exalted in the 2nd house, it will deliver a lot of diseases. Especially it delivers diseases related to eyes. If you notice any of the native of Pisces ascendant 
wearing a spectacle, the sun will be in the second house to the ascendant. Because the significance of sun itself relates to eyes, diseases related to eyes, heart, heart attack, etc. Sun is the significance of eyes and heart. So try to match the significance and the house effects. In order to make predictions, please match the significance of the planet and the house effects of the planet. In this case, sixth house lord gets exalted in the second house, which is Aries. What effects will it deliver? It will deliver diseases related to its significance. Sun signifies the body parts such as heart and eyes, so it will deliver diseases related to these body parts. Therefore, for the native of Pisces ascendant, when sun gets exalted in the second house, it is not good. Can you recall the point for the native of Aquarius ascendant? I told when sun resides in second house, it is such a favorable position. Whereas for the native of Pisces ascendant, I say when sixth house lord gets exalted in second house, it is not favorable. If you understand the house effects and the significance of the planet and if you know how to match these, then you can easily make predictions. When sixth house lord gets exalted in the second house, it will deliver diseases related to eyes, then it also indicates the scarcity of money and the native will always tend to borrow some money. This is what the second house and sixth house connection will deliver. There are people who spend their salary within 25th of the month and they will suffer without money during the last week of every month. But there are also some people who feel that the money they earn is always insufficient. They earn good though. All these will be delivered when the sixth house lord gets exalted in the second house. To sum up, the sixth house lord should not be in the second house. It delivers diseases related to eyes, related to heart, related to significance of sun and the significance of the sun will also be spoiled here. Though sun gets exalted, which is natural significator of father, it will spoil the status of the father. When son gets exalted in the second house, you cannot consider the father of native as a good father because you have to definitely include the importance of house effect. Now let me explain the effect of son in the third house, which is Taurus. The third house is ruled by Venus, which is a natural benefic. Therefore, when Lord of Sixth House resides in third house and thereby gaining little Subhatva as well, it is considered to be good. When Sun resides in fourth house, that is Gemini, whose house Lord is Mercury, it will not deliver much worse effects. When sun resides in 4th house, it will aspect the 10th house. Therefore, it strengthens the 10th house to the ascendant and the native is likely to get professions related to the significance of sun. When sun resides in cancer, as per Bhavad Bhavam, it will be in the 12th house to its own house Leo and it will be in the 5th house to the ascendant. When sun resides in 5th house, it delivers a blend of good and bad effects. In case if it is in conjunction with Saturn or Rahu, it will definitely deliver bad effects. In case if sun gains Subhatva by connection of Jupiter or Venus, then it will not deliver worse effects. When sun resides in 6th house itself, that is in Leo, its own house, it is not considered to be good at all. 
when sixth house becomes subhatva it gives both growth and debts if the sixth house is pabhatva then it delivers only debts and diseases to sum up sun should not reside in its own house being sixth house lord when it resides in sixth house it will deliver the bad house effects and there will be some shortcoming related to the significance of sun even if sun becomes subhatva still it will deliver debts these debts will be for the growth of the native however there will definitely be some debts in case if leo becomes subhatva then it still deliver debts but these debts will be for the growth of the native however there will be definitely some debts in case if the house is pabhatva then the native will be pushed to the edge due to the reason he cannot pay debts the native will suffer from diseases when sun resides in seventh house to the ascendant house that is in house of virgo it is not favorable the sixth house lord should not be in the seventh house the only antidote for this is subhatva and when sun resides in the 7th house it aspects the ascendant house which is not considered to be good now let me explain the effects of sun in the 8th house that is libra this position is also not favorable because the 6th house lord resides in 8th house only the subhatva of sun can save the native when sixth house lord resides in eighth house and loses its sthana bala it will definitely deliver very worse effects to the native because it is debilitated in the eighth house libra is the house where sun gets debilitated the combination of sixth and eighth house is not good in case of sun as subhatva then it will move the native to a distant place or a foreign country and it can give unexpected gains as well now let me explain the effects of sun in the ninth house that is scorpio when sun resides in ninth house that is scorpio it is not considered to be favorable as per bhavad bhavam though sun resides in the quadrant house to its own house leo it will do only worse effects when it resides in ninth house this also creates karaho bhavanasti and subhatva is the only antidote for this planetary position when sun resides in 10th house that is sagittarius it delivers extreme benefits usually when sun resides in 10th house it delivers benefits sun that resides in jupiter's house which is sagittarius so it has got some subhatva and sun will be waiting to deliver extreme benefits when sixth house lord is in 10th house it is a good planetary position based on this planetary position the native will not suffer from any debts now let me explain the effects of sun in the house of capricorn which is the 11th house to the ascendant when sun resides in the 11th house the native will not suffer from debts when sixth house lord is in 10th house it means that it is going to help the native in his professional life and it is going to deliver great benefits when sun resides in 10th house it resides in a house of benefic natural benefic jupiter and sun is going to deliver extreme benefits here therefore when the sixth house lord resides in the 10th house or even the 11th house it gives a lot of growth in professional life when sun resides in 12th house to the ascendant it is not considered to be a good position that is when sun resides in aquarius which is 12th house to the ascendant the only benefit that sun can deliver is its aspect on its own house leo 
When sun resides in Aquarius, it aspects its own house Leo and strengthens it, which is indeed sixth house. When sun resides in Aquarius, it will not do any great benefits because it is in the house of Saturn, which is a dead enemy to sun. Therefore, when sun resides in 10th and 11th house, it is considered to be beneficial whereas when it resides in 8th house or 12th house, it is not considered to be auspicious because it will try to deliver its house effects which it is responsible for which is 6th house effects. When sun is in 12th house and aspects its own house Leo, it will definitely deliver some benefit through its significance, through father, benefit from government, but it will not deliver good financial benefits. Well, the next video is about the master session of Guruji. This is question time. For the native of Pisces ascendant, when sun gets exalted in Aries, which is the second house, will it deliver benefits or not? Will there be any shortcomings? Please write your answers in the comment section of this video. In the description box, we have added the playlist link of all English videos so far published. The link of Aditya Guruji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both iOS and Android users. The link of Google Play Store app is also given in the description box that is available for only Android users. The Tamil version of this video is also available. Please check the description box. Write your feedback to astro.writeus at gmail.com. Thank you.